Welcome to the Geometric Applications of Determinants video tutorial. The following examples will show you how you can use determinants in a variety of geometric applications. Example 1. Find the area of the triangle whose vertices are at the following coordinates. First, let us determine the area of the triangle. In the matrix palette, we want to choose the following dimensions. Rows 3, columns 3, and type custom values. Then click insert matrix. Then we want to enter the values of the matrix in the following form, where xi and yi are the coordinates of the triangle's vertices, and every entry in the last column of the matrix is 1. So let us enter the values into the matrix. Once you have completed that, note that the order of the coordinates do not matter, as long as each x-coordinate and its corresponding y-coordinate are in the same row. Then we want to open the context menu, go down to Standard Operations, and select Determinant. And we want to open the context menu once more and select absolute value. We take the absolute value of our determinant because area is always positive. Then we want to take this value so you can just select it and drag it over here. And we want to divide it by 2. And then press the enter key. So here we have the area of our triangle. Now let us display a geometric plot of the triangle. So we want to execute the following commands to generate a picture of the triangle. So press the Enter key. And here we have our triangle, and the area we just calculated as 9 is this green area inside. Notice that since this is not a right triangle, it would have taken us a much longer time to determine the area using means other than the determinant. This concludes Example 1. Example 2. Find the volume of the tetrahedron whose vertices are at the following coordinates. Step 1. In the matrix palette, we want to choose the following dimensions. Rows 4, columns 4, and type custom values. Step 2. Click Insert Matrix. Then we want to enter the values of the matrix in the following form, where x, i, y, i, and z, i are the coordinates of the tetrahedron's vertices, which we can take from our question. And the entries of the last column of the matrix are all 1. So let us enter the values in our matrix. Once you have completed that, note that the order of these coordinates do not matter as long as the corresponding x, y, and z coordinates appear in the same row. Step 4. Open the context menu, go down to Standard Operations, and select Determinant. Step 5. Open the context menu once more and select Absolute Value. We take the absolute value because volume is always positive. Then we want to take this value, so you can just select it and drag it over here, and then we want to divide it by 6 and press the Enter key. And then we want to open the context menu once more, go down to Approximate, and select 5. And here we have the approximated volume of our tetrahedron. This concludes Example 2. Example 3. Determine if the following points are collinear. Step 1. In the matrix palette, we want to choose the following dimensions. Rows 3, columns 3, and type custom values. Then we want to click Insert Matrix. Step 3. Enter the values of the matrix in the following form, where x, i, and y, i are the coordinates from the question, and the entries of the last column of the matrix are all 1s. So taking our coordinates from our question, let us fill in the matrix. Once you have completed that, we want to open the context menu, go down to Standard Operations, and select Determinant. If the determinant is 0, then the points are collinear. However, if the determinant is not 0, then the points are not collinear. So taking a look at our determinant, we can see that since it is 0, the points are collinear. Now let us display a geometric plot of the points. Step 1. Form a list of the points as shown to the right. Then we want to open the context menu, which we do by right-clicking, go down to Plots, and then Plot Builder. Then we want to click Plot. And here you can see a geometric plot of our three points, and notice that they can all be connected by a straight line. So once again, we have shown that the points are collinear. This concludes Example 3. Example 4. Find the equation of the plane that goes through the following points. Step 1. In the matrix palette, choose the following dimensions. Rows 4, columns 4, and type custom values. Step 2. Click Insert Matrix. Step 3. Enter the values of matrix in the following form, where x, i, y, i, and z, i are the coordinates from the question, and the entries of the last column are all 1s. 
and there's a row where the first three entries are x, y, and z. So taking our coordinates from the question, let us fill in our matrix. Once you have completed that, note that the order of the coordinates do not matter as long as the corresponding x, y, and z coordinates are in the same row. Step 4. Open the context menu, go down to Standard Operations, and select Determinant. Step 5. Open the context menu once more, go down to Conversions, and select Equate to Zero. And here we have the equation of the plane. Now let us display a geometric plot of the points. Step 1. Form a list of the points as shown to the right. Step 2. Open the context menu, go down to Plots, and select Plot Builder. Then click Options and select the following. Axes boxed, symbol circle, size 12, and color black. Then click Plot. And here we have plotted our points. Now let us display our plane. So going back up here, open the context menu, go to Solve, Isolate Expression for, and select Z. Then select the right hand side of the expression and drag it into our plot. And here you have the plane whose equation we just solved for. To change the color, you can right click, go down to color, and select whichever color you wish. So taking a look at our plot, we can see that the plane whose equation we just solved for does go through the three points. This concludes example four. Thank you for watching the Geometric Applications of Determinants video tutorial.